Now we turn towards our weather here on the central coast. Yesterday, a few different areas saw some showers from the remnants of Tropical Storm Eugene. On the left side of your screen, you can see the rain puddles that formed in Santa Maria. And on your right, Orchid residents also experienced some wet weather as thunderstorms passed through the region. Definitely an interesting day here on the central coast. It's not unheard of for us to see some tropical remnants. It's just, it's been a while since we've yeah. seen some rain. I was definitely sitting at my window watching it. I even uh, made our producer go for a walk with me uh, <laughs> while it was it's just drizzling just to experience it. I love the rain here on the Central Coast, yeah. but I'm glad it's not going to be here for the weekend. Yeah. So, Janelle, what did you do yesterday? You just held I was, your hand I, I was like, what is out there? And I, I put my <laughs> hand down. She didn't actually I, walk I said, into Vivian, it. Vivian, you were correct. Good job, <laughs> Vivian. She has accurate forecasts, everybody. Definitely got the accurate forecast. Definitely glad that it's going to be pretty much done, though, at this yeah. point. We've got some really wonderful things going on this weekend. We don't want that to be a washout, and it won't be. We do have some clearing already taking place, but we're not quite done with this system just yet continuing to see that rain system from Tropical Storm Eugene make its way onto the Central Coast yesterday. And as that low pressure continues to move towards the north and the west, we are continuing to see just a few lingering areas of that system, especially as it begins to kind of make this turn right back on shore. A few more scattered showers are likely, but even that is going to be pretty minimal. The bulk of the system is already behind us. So let's look at some of those rain totals or rain totals so far. So Vandenberg at just 0 0.6, 0 0.06 inches of rain. Many locations in those hundreds of inches of rain, especially in northern San Luis Obispo County, where we've just seen a little bit of rain from the system. But if you head down towards the south coast, that's where the greatest totals were. Just over a half an inch of rain in Carpinteria, Isla Vista at 0 0.16, Santa Barbara at 0 0.34 inches of rain. Very much a localized system with some areas seeing even more rain than that. Edison Trail in the ridge just above Santa Barbara saw 0 0.82 inches of rain. That is pretty significant, especially for this time of the year where our averages are sitting between zero and just a trace of an inch of rain. So definitely something interesting for us here on the Central Coast. Montecito just about a half an inch of rain. Gibraltar Dam at 0 0.24. San Marcos Pass a little bit less at just over a tenth of an inch of rain. Cuyama Valley even a little bit lower than that in just that 0 0.8 0.08 inches of rain from that system. Continuing to see just a little bit more rain, especially in northern San Luis Obispo County for this morning. Continuing to see those scattered showers really making their way through the region. That low pressure that is driving this whole thing, the remnants of Tropical Storm Eugene, is continuing to sit just off our coast. It's going to turn on shore a little bit, and we'll be seeing some slight areas of that cloud cover and those scattered showers over the next few hours. Right now, looking at your radar, our main concern is up along our north coast near San Simeon, where there is a a little bit of a thunderstorm continuing to make its way through the region, seeing some heavier rain there. A few small areas of some very light rain continuing to move through the region, even through the five cities region this morning. Just be sure to grab that extra layer, maybe that raincoat as you head out the door. You won't need it for long, but you might need it still this morning. Temperatures for today still quite comfortable thanks to that cool down from this system. 87 degrees in Paso Robles, 76 in San Luis Obispo, 72 in Santa Maria, 71 in Lompoc, and 77 degrees in Santa Barbara for today. Along our north coast, Morro Bay at 62, 89 in San Miguel, and 71 degrees in Avila Beach in the Five Cities region. Pretty comfortable there as well. Guadalupe at 67, 87 in Shandon, and 62 degrees in Pismo Beach. And along our south coast, really comfortable as well. Goleta at 74, 89 in the Cuyama Valley, and 70 degrees in Vandenberg for today. Over the next seven days, we'll continue to clear out this system and start a days-long warming trend, which will bring us to lots of sunny skies and warm temperatures by the weekend, triple digits in the interiors by early Early next week, but then staying really comfortable and clear all the way through the extended forecast here on the Central Coast. Neil and Janelle, back to you. All right, thanks.